Okay, there's a bit of a reading log update. Um, I've been reading poems of Fernando Pessoa. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so basically this guy's deal is he writes under multiple heteronyms. Um, so he, he has multiple personas, um, poet personas, and each of the personas have lore. They have lore, so it's really interesting. Um, and then after I finished this book of poetry, I've almost finished actually. Um, I'm just on message, which is like a short form body of work. Um, I'm going to move on to reading the book of Disquiet eventually. I'm not sure if I'm going to read it straight away, but the poems are really good. Um, the tra English trans this English translation doesn't necessarily capture the rhyming meter that um, Pessoa uses, but it does capture like the message and themes. So obviously in Portuguese it would be much better, but it's still a good read and it's interesting to see what the different personas, um, Pessoa's personas um, are up to and kind of what's their deal. Um, yeah, it's really good. And then I'm also going to be reading, well, I recently bought Faces in the Water by Janet Frame. So as a New Zealander, I have an obligation as someone who reads literature um, to read some Janet Frame. So this is what I've got. I'm going to read it uh, probably soon. Um, I've got a few things lined up that I want to read, but... Um, I definitely have this one eyed up for soon. Um, I also bought um, <clears throat> Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett as a part of reading uh, at least one play this month. Um, I've already read Waiting for Godot before, and it's yeah, you know, it's a it's a classic, classic in the theater of the absurd. So I don't really want to delve to uh linger too long on um waiting for Godot, but needless to say i like this and i'm looking forward to reading it again but the main thing is just getting through pessoa um yeah and i also bought which is in my room and i'm not going to get it right now but i also bought the book of disquiet so i'm looking forward to that um yeah but pessoa definitely like I don't know, he's changing, like, how I think about stuff, you know, his personas are really, like, believable, I actually, like, you know, I see them as real people writing poetry, like, real poets, and I guess it's kind of the part is they are a real person in the sense that they are Pessoa himself, but they're also kind of just, like, fictitious, and then there's one kind of recurring theme in Pessoa's work is questioning like he raises questions of like what is real like what is our perception on things um at some part some poems it's more explicit than others but uh one of the great things about his work is his personas can tackle the same ideas from radically different angles without seeming contradictory so yeah it's been pretty good um and I think we're going to wrap up this mini vlog and keep it nice and short. All right, cheers.